The purple and gold luster at Blue Springs seems to be a few shades brighter for the Wildcat wrestling team this winter. Not only do they currently claim superiority in our top 15 of the Metro, but also garnering national attention as Intermet Wrestling has them sitting in the middle of their fabulous 50 programs in the United States. More than anything, as far as I'm concerned, that I'm excited about is it brings some notoriety to the high school. It brings some notoriety to the state of Missouri. You know, just to have those rankings is kind of cool. It just, it pushes us, you know, we're looking to be pushed and that's what it does. It's always good having the chip on your back, you know, because everybody's coming after you and gives you that pressure and drive to work hard every day in the practice room. I love it. I like, I like people coming after us because I know we just got to work even harder to be the best, having them come after us. A successful first half can be attributed to this band of grappling brothers, tough love and tight-knitted friendship. We hang out a lot with each other, like go home with each other after tournaments and stuff, and hang out on weekends. We're probably like my best friends, so I hang out with them more than anybody. It's not just about having a team, but it's almost like a family, you know, you come in and your friend's off of that mat, but when you're on the mat, you want to beat each other up, you know, in the room you go hard and tough. That's what's cool about our team is everybody likes each other. On the mat, you know, we, we're not the same people as off the mat, but uh, we're best friends when we get off the mat. Anytime that you toil this hard together in the room, I mean, you're beating yourself to death with your partner every day. You look across and the next guy, your partner's doing the same thing. There's days in here you may not think they're, they're buddies or they respect each other, but when they walk off the mat, they're, they're pretty close. Despite the recent national exposure, the Cats have remained true to the goals that they set out with in November. I think the guys are starting to catch that fire and the adrenaline, knowing that we're not having to go, we're not going to be going through that same early preseason grind that you have to go through every day. We're kind of focused on the ultimate goal, you know, returning state champs. That's what's all really on our mind all the time. It's only been done one other time in history, I think, of Blue Springs for back-to-back -back state champs. That's what we're working for. I think we could get seven or eight in the finals, and I think like a, at least like four, three or four of us could win and not have very many close matches. If the Wildcats are able to do that, it'll be an exclamation point on an already historic season. In Blue Springs, I'm Kyle Haas for Time Warner Cable, Metro Sports.